Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Bayou Babe. This month I thought I would do some care and keeping of videos where I talk about how, what products I use on my skin. So that's what this video is today. It's um, what products I use on my skin. Now not everything comes from the Dollar Tree. In fact, I think one item from this whole thing actually came from the Dollar Tree. However, um, in my upcoming haul for March, um, I did pick up a few skincare items from the Dollar Tree that I will be incorporating into my routine, but um, to just to, to branch out a little bit and see um, if there's better products out there that um, don't cost, that aren't as expensive as the ones I'm currently using, because some of these products are a little bit pricey, but they do the job that I really need them to do. Um, I have eczema. My skin and my skin gets really red and then dry on my cheeks and then all over my arms. I'll get patches of eczema. And I have used everything from doctor uh, prescribed stuff to things that swear they work. They don't. Uh, but one of the things I have found, we're going to start from like body wash up. So one of the things I found that really helps me out is uh, the Dove body wash. And the Dove body wash that I am currently using is the Mandarin and Tiar, 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 Tiar flower scent. Looks like this. It smells like oranges and very citrusy. And especially when I when I take showers in the morning, this really this really wakes me up. Um, if I'm having if I feel like I'm having a really bad skin day, I also use the Dove Winter Care. So if um, when I was traveling. And I went and saw my sister in her, um, in her area, they have no humidity. Um, I think she's talked about it on her channel before, so, and I used the Dove Winter Care. I brought it with me, and I did not work out next to those patches, so I definitely recommend Dove Body Wash. Um, the next thing when I get out of my shower, I always use lotion. The current one that I am using, I did pick up at the Dollar Tree. Um, I... Use the Dermacil uh, Advanced Treatment Creamy Lotion in the 8 ounce bottle. And um, I did pick up another Dermacil product, which you'll see in my uh, my next upcoming haul. But I got the, the 8 ounce bottle from the Dollar Tree. And this one is, it's hyperallergenic. And it's cruelty free, and no animal testing, and it's paraben free. And this stuff really smooths out my skin. I was having a break, an outbreak on my arm, um, and it was just really rough. And it's just, it's, it's not something I really love. So I really, you know, I'm really all about my skincare ever since I started getting these eczema patches because I didn't always have them. They came when I was an adult. You know, something that I've had to deal with. So these are the pro, like I said, these are the products that I find works right now. Um, so I'm using the Dermacell Advanced Treatment Lotion. Then, um, if I'm having a particularly bad skin day and I need to really slough off the dead skin and the dove is just not cutting it, I use the tea tr the tea the tree hut yeah tree hut shea sugar body scrub with and it's the coconut lime. So this is what it looks like. I picked this up at. Walmart, it's like six bucks. It's a very huge thing of body scrub, and um, it smells like coconut and lime. Like, um, you go to Bath and Body Works, they have a lot of coconut lime stuff, and that's what it smells like. And with the shea butter, it really helps my dry skin. This really sloughs off the dead skin. Um, I actually use this sometimes to shave my legs, and it lasts longer. The hair doesn't grow back as fast. The next thing I'm going to talk about, uh, let's go with face stuff. So, I am very, very weird. I have two types of uh, facial wipes that I use depending on how my skin is acting that day. I have two types of moisturizer, I have two types of masks, and I have two types of cleansers. I know, it's crazy. But this is just what it is. Now, um... One of the products that I'm currently obsessed with is from Lush. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this stuff's like 15 bucks, and it's, it's not for this big pot. It's for a little pot that's like this size. Oops. A little pot that's like this size. This is 15. You can go look at it on um, their website, but this is um, Angels on Bare Skin. 
and it's a clay based um, facial wash it's this one is preservative free and hundred percent natural and when I say clay based I mean look, look this is what it looks like when it comes out of the little pot can y'all see that and this one has lavender in it and ground up almonds so it naturally exfoliates and it and in the winter time it definitely it leaves my skin not feeling tight and drawn if you have that problem you might want to try this um like i said i know it's expensive but uh let me tell you it does its job so if it does its job i'm willing to pay a little bit more money um, but for days that my skin is not acting up and it's not feeling overly dry and um, anything I use right now I'm using the L'Oreal uh, Go 360 clean and this one is the deep facial cleanser for sensitive skin I don't have sensitive skin I just I tend to use the sensitive skin products because they don't have any fragrances in them and I'm very very picky now this particular one is fragrance free soap free and dermatologist test it and it can't comes with like this little thingy um like a little facial brush but mine got gross so i ended up throwing it away and then um i bought a new one from the dollar tree so which i will be hauling and i will show y'all um so after i wash my face and i get completely out of the shower um if I don't feel like, okay, so hang on, before I go that step, if I don't feel like washing my face, because there are some days where you're tired and you don't feel like doing the whole shebang. If I don't feel like doing the whole shebang, I will use one of my cleansing wipes. Now, I've hauled these, I can't remember which which haul it was, it might have been my second haul, but I hauled these before, and this is the, salic, the salicylic acne uh, the salicylic acid acne treatment with a 30 pre moisten wipes. This came from the Dollar Tree. And I will wipe my face down if I'm having breakouts with this. I will wipe my face down and then follow it up with the rest of my products. But this is just, it's moisturizing and cleansing so it cleans it. Now if I'm not having a breakout, I will use the oil free cleansing gloss from Neutrogena in the pink grapefruit for acne prone skin now I actually picked this up at uh, dirt cheap and it was it came in uh, two packages and I think I spent four dollars for both packages so I spent two dollars per package and this comes with 25 pre moistened towel lengths um, and this one is a pink grapefruit scent and it smells really good and so I'll just you know wipe down my face really good make sure I want you know go all the way underneath my chin and really get all the areas around my face before I move on in my um, my facial routine. I, re I think I read somewhere that uh, it says that by the time you've reached your 20s, every woman should have a facial routine. Now, I don't necessarily agree with that, um, but if you're like me and you have dry skin or you're prone to acne breakouts and things like that, then yeah, you should probably take the extra steps and take care of your skin. Um, but if you're busy, you don't have time, then as long as you wash, if you wear makeup, you wanna wash your face. You wanna try not to, you know, pick at your face if your hands are not clean. Make sure you wash your hands before you pick at your face because if you don't, it could create scarring, create more breakouts. You wanna make sure you keep your hands very, very clean. These. A lot of oil in them people so one of the things that I do is I make sure that my hands are clean before I do anything in regards to my face now so the next step that I do I use the exfoliating pads that look like this they have little nubbies on them as you can see from Swisper um, I buy mine at Walmart I take one of these pads and then I take this stuff. This stuff is magic in a bottle. <laughs> it's $20, $20 a bottle. Um, so it's a little pricey. And it's the uh, Aveda Botanical Connects Liquid Exfoliant. And this one is uh, five fluid ounces. Now I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but I just do two little like this. Okay, so I put this on here. One, two. 
and I use that every night that I wash my face and um, this bottle I've got it two months ago and you see I'm not even halfway through so this stuff lasts me a good long while now after you exfoliate before you put on your moisturizer I heard you're supposed to use a toner so I use the Aveda Botanical Kinetics Toning Mist spray and my sister actually gave me this bottle and what I do is I take some of my liquid exfoliant very little little bit and then the rest is water and I just I use that um, but before I did use the toning mist and the, the botanical kinetics toning mist and I really did like it now I'm not affiliated with any of these products um, they're just products that I find that have worked for me over the years so I thought I would share my knowledge um, okay so let's move on to masks and then we'll move on to then we'll have moisturizers and that's it so okay so some of the masks um, it really depends on what I'm trying to do um, I have if I'm just trying to put a mask on while I'm in the shower while I'm washing my hair and I just want to just do a kind of a quick cleanse and I want something that's just a little bit deeper than my facial wash I'll use the Clean and Clear Blackhead Eraser Cleansing Masks because I have problem with blackheads around my nose. I break out on my nose and like around my chin. So I'll use this in the shower because it, um, especially for me, because it has salicylic acid in it, my face, you know, it, it has that light burning sensation. It's not bad. I don't think it's bad, but because my skin's a little sensitive, sometimes if uh, my skin is feeling tight, it'll hurt a little bit so if I use it in my shower with all the steam it doesn't hurt at all and then it's easy to wash off and uh, you don't have to worry about how washing it off so. and then um, this is another Lush product this is the mask of Magnum NT. it's a face and body mask and this one I paid for 14 for but I've had it for a you don't need a lot of this stuff because I've had it for like three months, three, four months and look how much I've used. And they packed it all the way to the top. And this, oh, I love this stuff. It smells so good. And this is actually a face wash, a deep cleansing face wash. And this one is peppermint, kaolin, and scrubby aduki uh, beans? Aduki, okay. For deeply cleansed skin. And this one is the, the, these products are cruelty free, animal free, or completely 100% organic. When it comes to products, like I said, if it's expensive, I'm willing to spend the money to get great results. And I get great results with this. And okay, even though it's green, and I don't know about y'all, but I have used green masks before, and they are a pain in the butt to get off your face. But because this is a face wash, as well like you could use it as a quick face wash I don't I use it as a mask um but because it's also a face wash you can you just use a little bit of water and you massage it with your fingertips and it's easy it comes off so easy you're um, if you go look on lush.com you'll find this in the facial cleanser section not the mask section but um, I had got I had gone to Lush and I found out that they get free facials. This is one of the products they used on me, along with the Angels on Bare Skin. I fell in love with these two products, and so I spend the money. Now, Angels on Bare Skin, um, I split the costs with one of my cousins or like my friends. Um, so they'll get half, and I'll get half, and then it's supposed to last you for three months if you wash your face. It's supposed to last you for like six months if you wash your face twice a day. So if you split it in half between two people, washing your face once, it's three months. But I make it last even longer than that because I switch out between this and the L'Oreal 360 cleanser. So if you did that, you could make this last even longer. That's what I do. So the last thing I'm going to talk about is moisturizers. Now, my moisturizers, it really depends if it's winter if it's 
been rainy rainy that day it depends on how my skin is feeling after i wash it so okay so i have two different moisturizers one was expensive one was not um so let's talk about the first one um this is the pons crema s it's a nourishing moisturizing cream with nutrients and botanicals for dry to very dry skin okay when I put on face uh, moisturizer, especially like this kind, this is the Pons. Um, I don't use a lot. And when I say I don't use a lot, like I'll unscrew the cap and dip my finger in there and have like barely any on my finger and then I'll dot it, rub it in. Because I don't like my face feeling really greasy or because especially if I'm putting on makeup that day, I don't want a heavy moisturizer on my face. And so if it's winter time and my skin is extra dry and I have to use a heavier moisturizer, this is my heavier moisturizer. This is the Burt's Bees Natural Face Solutions Intense Hydration um, with Clary Sage. This is the night cream. I use it whenever I need it, not just at night. Um, but I've had this for months and you see like I haven't used a lot because uh, I don't because this is way heavier so I don't use a lot at all. Um, this one is 1.8 ounces. Now this was expensive. I'm not gonna lie. This was 20 bucks. And I feel like it was money well spent because I do use it occasionally. I don't use it all the time. I wish I would have been able to find a better product for a little bit cheaper. But Burt Bees, you can't really go wrong with. So if you like it, it's definitely the way to go. But this is actually my favorite, my favorite moisturizer is the Pond's Chroma S. And this one I found in the travel section at Walmart or Target, either one. Um, and this one, they have two different kinds. This is the kind that I use. It's the blue one. And it's the, like I said, it's the Crema S. It's hyperallergenic. It doesn't log pores. Moisturizes and nourishes for up to 24 hours. It has a very, very light scent. I don't... I mean, I might have gotten used to it after a time, but I don't find it's offensive or anything like that. And the best part about this moisturizer is it's $1.30. You cannot go wrong. So, that's it for my care and keeping video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Check me out. Like me below. Subscribe. And I'll see you later. Bye.